Boom, hello, here we are. <laughs> hey, woo, it is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this is our live Wednesday afternoon live. We always get together Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern time and draw a portrait together. And we're in a long running series that we're trying to draw uh, portraits of famous artists. One, it's they're, they're great to draw. Uh, secondly, it gives you uh, an interesting art education about some of these greats in our history that you should at least just be aware of and the kind of work that they did. So here we are on probably the number top of my list of artists that I would have given anything for to be their friend. How about that? Do you think I could have made a difference in Van Gogh's life if he and I were together, just hanging out, painting? I I want to think so, because I think I can encourage him, or at least bear his load <laughs> a little bit. Listen, this is Van Gogh. So, um, you know, this is why I like Van Gogh probably better, more than any other artist. And I'm sure there's many that would fit his his story, but really this... This is the classic artist, and it has really nothing to do about his work per se, but we have to remember that Van Gogh didn't make a dime in his entire life. I mean, he, all, he most of his paintings he sent to his brother Theo, and his brother Theo would then send him money to live on. And, and so that was it. He, he just kind of like, just... That's all he did. He tried many other things, but um, he just stuck to painting and sent them to his brother. His brother stored them. And uh, after Van Gogh's death, get this, Theo died. Theo died, you know, not long after, which really put Theo's wife in a very uh, difficult predicament that she had to uh, start making a living and, and sustain their, you know, just uh, uh, make a living somehow and, and take care of, I think Theo had children, take care of the family and everything like that. So what she did was she had all of Van Gogh's paintings. She decided to start publishing the letters that Van Gogh wrote to Theo. And that created a market, an interest in Van Gogh's work, and then the rest is history. But you see, if it wasn't for Theo's death and his um, widow publishing those letters, the world would never know Van Gogh and he would have been just completely disappeared. So I just want you to think about that. And you, you take Van Gogh and you, you put him on one side and let's compare him with someone like Sargent. Now, Sargent, you know, their, their painting styles were completely different, but Sargent was well known in the uh, upper class of people. They commissioned him handsomely to paint their portraits. So um, Sargent knew of, of fame and popularity and got paid for what he did. That doesn't take anything away from him, but it just shows you these different classes of artists. So, um, just to remember, if you are down in the dumps and really struggling, you know, you are not alone. Um, there are there are thousands of great artists who had to struggle through the same difficulties that you uh, are going through. So I just say that to encourage you to say, hey, it's different today. The very least, we have a group. We have a group called on Facebook. It's Beginning Drawing, Learn to Draw with yours truly. It's very supportive. I would sign up and join our group. You could find a link right in the description. I will also add a link to the comments as soon as we're done here. Just some simple questions to answer to get entrance into our private drawing group. I would love to have you there. Wow, that was quite a bit. So with that being said, let's get started right into this portrait. Let me kind of take a quick look. Um, it's been so long since I got to draw. Oh, all right. Mr. Carpet's here. Let's see what else we have here. It's Thursday night, Betsy. Mostly my, uh, da, 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 da. oh, I thought it was me. Okay, here we go. We're going to get started. So 
let's go through some basics. Okay, I don't know if we've done basics for a while, but let's spend a little time of going over step by step. All right, so give me, let's just do two here. Give me two spheres. And the way that we want to do this, we'll call this A and B. And you want to start off with a your 2D, 3D, and face, placement of the face, okay? Just remember this. So 2D axis, is, is the head tilting to the right or is it tilting to the left? Let's go through this. Nice and easy here, all right? So there's, there's this axis right there, faces tilting to the left a little bit. And then this one will, will kind of have it going straight up and down, okay? All right, 3D axis. Once you have established whether the face is leaning to the right or to the left, then is along that axis, is it coming forward or is it going back, okay? Or is your point of view below looking up or are you looking down? See, those could be one and the same. So on A, let's say we're slightly looking up. So we're gonna do this sort of thing. And B, let's do that just the opposite, okay? Something like that. So over here, check this out. Let's draw, Let's draw a center line here. Draw a nice oval. And then let's, let's just come down here like this. Get a nice cylinder, okay? Over here, let's draw that cylinder the opposite way. So we're gonna, again, do, do an oval, sides, and this is going to be dark up there, just like this. And we'll get the bottom of it. You, you see how I did that? Give me two ovals. While you, while you get caught up, I'm going to have a little cup of great tasting Joe. I missed my coffee this morning, so I've been like going at it here. Hey, there's Cindy showing up. Hello, Miss Cindy. Okay, so think of think of down here these cylinders. Think of this. Look, there's the eye line. There's the nose. You see how like these, I'm I'm like using these lines to go around. I'm I'm really feeling like this one is up because I'm looking up at it. If you're looking down, the ears are going to be higher. If you're if you're looking down like this, if you're looking up, the ears are going to be lower. Okay, so that's that's 2D. We've done 2D, 3D, placement of the face. So let's say over here in A, we'll, we'll say the face is, this is gonna be a three quarter view. That's gonna be the center line of the face. And then B, let's, let's put it over here, okay? That's where we're gonna put that center line. Oops, I made a mistake already. The center line should always be parallel to the, to the uh, axis. All right, we got those three. Next thing we look for is the T of the face, the T of the face. What's the T of the face? The T of the face is right here where you get the, uh, where you take your fingers, you put them on your temples. That gives the crossbar between the temples of the head. And then the center line gives the, the main uh, center, just like that, you see? So on our A, if we, if we go like that, so this is gonna be a temple. That's gonna be a temple, right? All right, there's the center line. On B, here's, here's the temple there, and then because it's three quarter, I'm gonna see more on this side here. So it's gonna come across and come down, just like that. Oh, Pat, you're glad we're doing Vincent. Yeah, me too. If you ever get a chance, 
go see his work someplace that you can that you could get right up onto the canvas. I mean, get your nose right, right into it. <laughs> as long as the guard doesn't yell at you. I'm sometimes afraid someday that uh, people will not be able to pro approach art without, without it being like hidden behind a screen or something like that. I'm afraid that might come someday and I, that would be a sad that we have to look at great art from a distance. Okay, so right at the temple, this is the side. Look, this is the side of the head. See, look at this right here. Sides of the head are flat, whereas the sides of the head in profile, it's going to be very round. You see that? Right, just like that. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. All right. So this is going to be straight along the side there, and this is going to be straight. And then this is going to be straight there, and this is going to be straight there. Okay, bottom quadrant, right down here. This is where the ear is gonna, your ear is gonna fall someplace like right in here. Depends, you know, this is just general, general proportions, okay? General. Oh, great, Pat, you saw both. I went to the, I saw, I've seen a couple, and I also got to go to the, they had that exhibit where it was like the Van Gogh exhibit where you kind of walked into this immersive environment. I can't remember what that was called, but my daughter got that for my birthday a couple of years ago. It was here in Philadelphia, and it was, it was really good. It was very interesting. They had a, but from that ear, I'm going to drop down a little bit and give a nice little sweeping, sweeping curve there for the uh, the the um, jawline. Same thing over here. I'm going to drop it down a little bit, give a sweeping curve over here, and then this is going to come around like this. And then the chin, you know, I'll put a a parallel line just like this. Look at that. See that? Parallel line. Actually, I shouldn't have done this one there. Parallel line, just like that. Okay, nose. Let's come on down here. The nose is usually like a, well, it's going to be about halfway down, possibly. It, it could change. You just have to be, be mindful of of looking at your proportions there oh okay you saw it you saw it as well i what was that called do you know pat get down here at the bridge let's come on in here the, at the beginning of the nose that's going to be the uh the keystone shape and then our nose is going to come out and then it's going to come back under like this and you could do the same thing. It's going to be the keystone like this and then kind of sweep under. We've got to get a student who lives I wasn't wasn't he in like the Never the Netherlands? Where did he, uh, where did he die? Was it in Denmark? I don't know. Or was it in France? He was staying at that, of that little inn or something like that. So here on the, on these noses, I put a little bit of shadow underneath. You see what I did there? And then, then our wings are going to come in here like this.
Okay. Behind the nose, you've got the, the ball of the mouth. It's kind of like that. Okay, ball of the mouth is right here. Don't forget the ball of the mouth. Even, even when someone is super young, uh, they still have it. They just don't have their great wrinkles like I got. Wrinkles come down here. Corners of the mouth will sometimes go right, right into there and right over here. Now this, look at this now, this, all of this is kind of parallel, you see? Also your, generally speaking, your, your eye line will also be parallel to all those. Lips, lips, when we draw our lips, we get the corners of our mouth like this. Here's the center line. So we start off with a little, a little V like this, and then we, I'll put it up here. Get our little V, get our little V just like that. Oh, by the way, make sure that you uh, like this video. And in the comments, state what area of the face is most difficult for you, okay? So if you're watching this, I could use, right now we've got uh, at least 12 people watching. If you all can just give the video a like and give me 12 comments. 12 comments of, uh, of what area of the face is most difficult. Oh, it was in France. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, France is on my bucket list someday to, to make it to France. So, uh, God willing, that will happen. Okay, down here we're going to put another little V just like this for the lips. Oh, I... Shirley, put it not in the com not in the chat, in the comments, in the comments. Oh, okay, no worries, no worries. All right, straight line across, we got that. And then we get our lips underneath, just like this. All good. Oh, okay, Pat. Will do. I didn't know you were in France. Are you going to fly out there and meet Jackie and I? <laughs> All right. Look, we got our we got our eye line. Let's keep going here because we got a lot to do here. All right. Eye line. Look at that. Eyeballs right there. Middle of the eye will will line up right with that corner of the mouth. Generally speaking, general. Okay. And then a good way to draw an eye is one, two, three. One, two, three. Same thing over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then a nice S curve. S curve. A reverse S curve. Show you here how I did that. There's my eye, so I'm going one, two, three. That's my tear duck, and then S curve. These are just general measurements. Eyebrows. Usually, lips, length, and face. All right. Usually, the darkest part, there's like this right in into the in socket here. There's always 
that area of the eye is very dark. And with that, I think we're done with this. We're going to move on now. Let's get on to our drawing. That should give us a nice basis, base there, okay? All right. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. All right. Let's get a nice clean sheet to work on here. It might, you know, it, that comment section might show up after the video is done. So, uh, because it's live, you may not be able to do it. Hello, Mr. John. How are you doing? Glad you're checking in, my friend. <laughs> also, if you're looking for extra help in learning how to draw, there's, of course, the Daily Draw. Daily Draw is a daily group we get together uh, every day of the week Monday through Friday and we do a different topic every single day if you're interested in joining that then I will put a link for that also in the uh, in the uh, comments when we're done and uh, that is a paid class but I'll tell you, you just can't beat the price. It's only 10 bucks a month, and we go live every day. You get a new lesson every single day. So if you really want to uh, get good at drawing, that is where, that's where the magic's going to happen. Okay, look at this now. Let's, uh, let's get his, uh, there's his center line. There is his axis. That's the 2D axis. All right, and we're kind of looking at him, up at him. So this is going to be his brow line. And then and right there is going to be his temple. Other temple is going to be over here. Um, the lessons go from 30 to 40 minutes. I try and I try and keep them as close to 30 minutes as possible. But one other addition, one other great thing about those lessons is that if you're having a problem, I will do live critiques on your work. And that's always very helpful. In fact, I think, um, I think Betsy reached out to me and asked for some help of a drawing. And so I'm going to go over that. Um, and everyone in the class gets to see that. And everyone learns from each other. And that's probably one of the big advantages that... Um, uh, that we get in the daily draw. You can also find it right on my website at a dad who draws.com. Just sign up for the daily draw and check it out. His eyes aren't tilted. Uh, yes, they are. We're going to get, we'll get to that. Okay. Let's get the side of his head here. There's the side of his head, right? There's the side of his face. Okay, his jaw. Let's come in here and bring this down for his jaw. Now, I'm going to look at this carefully here. And what I'm looking, this is what I'm going to look at right now. Let me change colors here so you have a clear view of what I'm seeing in my mind. Right, right there, okay? That's this spot right there, okay? So I'm looking right, this is, this is the bottom right there of his, bottom of his chin, right? And so here's one temple, there's the other. Ooh, look at that. I might, I might be too long here. 
So let me just kind of move this over just a bit. That looks much accurate. So let's see now. Let's try and establish where the bottom of his chin is by looking at this proportionally. I think I'm going to be right about there. Okay, that's going to be the bottom of his nose where that that's going to be just about here. Maybe a little bit higher than that. Okay, there's there's his jaw. And now check this. This is something new that we just didn't cover. Right coming in, right? Th this was something that I call the Fantastic Four, okay? Bottom of the nose, cheek, bottom of the ear, back ahead. You see, this is where the neck comes in contact with the head. Those things gen can, you could use those as alignment of, of lining things up. They're not perfect, but... So I could, I could just kind of come in here and help me with that just a bit. You know, all these things are relative, so it just depends. Yeah, the beard can make it hard, but we'll draw through it. We'll draw through it. Okay, so there, right there, that's going to be the the fulcher of the um, the glabella, and then the bottom of the chin is going to match that, just something like that, maybe. All right, before I start drawing all of my features, now I'm going to look carefully at my drawing and use the cartoon check. That means. You look at your drawing and look at the photo. You look at the drawing and look at your photo. So let me just quickly jump back and forth. And I think this, I, I'm really not like, I think my no, my chin needs to be lengthened just a bit. And I'm also looking at right here at his cheek. You see that? So looking at my picture here, There, I, I think that's much, a little bit better there. Let me just double check. Great. I'm going to bring this around here. Erase this a little bit. Just making some, at this early stage, I want to... Uh, get the general construction down because that's going to totally help me yes van gogh did cut I, I don't know if he cut his whole no well, he did actually because he did a portrait of himself i don't know what year he did that of or what who knows the story but there is a uh, a painting i think he did with uh his ear wrapped up in bandages Okay. Let's kind of come in here, there, and get that. You know, there are so many things that he tried to do as far as a career goes. In fact, for a while there, he was trying to, if you didn't know this, he was trying, I think he was trying to enter the seminary and be a... Uh, be a church leader in his early days. Okay. Got his eyeline in there. I'm 
I'm going to erase some of these lines around his nose, just like that. Also, I'm going to uh, get rid of these here. Oh, nope, not that. Oh, not that either. Ooh, I got a feeling I think I have made a mistake. Look at that. All right, hold on. I got to fix my picture here. Okay. I had to fix my layers there. Okay, let's keep going here. So, so we we got his nose here. Let's go ahead and draw his wing. All right. So it's this like this. Look at that. And it's I'm looking closely at it, so it's going to be a little bit high like that. Okay, looking at his eye line here, let's get this first tear duct. We're going to go right, right there with that first tear duct. And then we'll put the other one. It's going to be way over here. Outside of the wing of the nose, tear, this tear duct is coming here. All right, there's one, look closely now, two, three, one, two, three. There was a uh, there's a there was a good great comic book artist named Bern Hogarth and he would do this with his eyes. He would put a little dot up there and he would align them like this where this and then you get that outside part just like that. That could help too. Okay, S curve here. All right, now his eyes now because we're seeing him three quarter, you gotta they gotta foreshorten just a little bit his pupils. So let's look closely at him here. And then over here. Eyelashes are going in like this. Look closely at the upper eyelid now. Look, really look at it. Don't go with what you think. Really observe it. How does this, it goes over the eye and then 
zips down like this. What about the other side? You're going up and over. Now think of think of these eyeballs and their skin. The skin is wrapped around the eyeball. So this is this is why we're going to get this lower this this is why we're going to get a little shadow here. See this lower eyelid is coming like this. You see that? And then it sort of is happening underneath here like that. Now this, this eyes, they're not pure white, so we've got to come in and add some tone, except maybe that little highlight right there. So let's see how we do here. I'm just gonna go in an overall tone here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow underneath that upper eyelid. Same thing on the other side. That's Then I'm going to add a little, I'm going to just follow the shape here. Follow the shape of this, of this shadow here. And the same thing on the other side. Let's follow the shape. Isn't it strange that, you know, we, we know that Van Gogh had red hair because he painted a self-portrait with him having red hair. I just think it's interesting that back in the day, they just did not have color, of course. I, I get it. It was back in the day. You know, they didn't have color uh, photography. So it's just, I don't know. We just really learned so much about the people, the colors, because of artists who were uh, painting these paintings. Okay, so this, look at this, this wing of the nose is all in tone as well, you see? Put a little line there to indicate where his mouth is going to be. In fact, I think I'm going to go a little bit lower than that. In fact, as I look at it now, I've actually made his nose probably a little too long, but that's, that's what we roll with. All right, let's get this, uh, ball of the face here <laughs> that's okay we can we can fix that if you haven't drawn it we can we can make an adjustment there surely in referring to your your forehead not your forehead but the <laughs> but your drawing all right let's do let's do like an outline first of Yeah. 
let's do an outline here of his mustache. And then let's do an outline of, of his beard. And this is called a contour. I mean, I'm just kind of following the outline. Then I'm going to drop in. I was thinking about this before we... I'm not going to worry about the hair. I'm only right now dropping in an overall value into his beard. Let's get these, these shadows right underneath his cheeks here, okay? This is also gonna have a value. So go ahead and just drop a value in there as well. then we're gonna to have to put his ear in so that's that's gonna be a little tricky as well let's I mean what's not tricky right right there 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 it is and there's there's the corner of his eye so let's see here let's try and get this right let's see I'm gonna come down here okay Yeah, thank you, Shirley, for the kind reminder. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of outlining the shape of his ear. Now, look at this. His whole ear is going to be darker in value. All right, so make sure you go darker on it. For those of you who don't like drawing ears, look at that. You can get away with uh, very little detail there. All right, let's go ahead and, and draw the contour of the top of his head here. And, and the hairline, just kind of like using angled lines. I'm not using curves here. We could curve this up a little bit later. And maybe, uh, Shirley, you can fix yours possibly, right? All right, now, this is interesting. Pay attention to this, because this will make a big difference. Look at that, there is his bow tie. You see that? Look at that bow tie is lining up right below his eye. This will this will help you in your three quarter view. So let's let's kind of put that in place there. So his bow tie is going to be about here. And the look at that that bow tie is lining up right the edges of it. You see that?
All right, let's come into this now and start adding some uh, hairs to his uh, beard here. This is really, this is where we go with texture. So I was talking uh, to the daily draw class the other day talking about, you know, you, you draw shape, you turn that shape into volume. That means like you go, let's say a square to a cube, then you go value and then you go detail. So what we've drawn here is we've drawn the shape, we added value, and now we're coming in and adding detail in that it's these hairs. We do, we do this. There's a really important reason because we want to make sure that you get the values right before you start adding detail. Because a lot of times if, if you get those values right, then you may not have to add all the extra detail. Same thing on the hair. Let's go ahead and add our value first. Okay, here's the front. You could even come in here and add more value to make this look like you see it's like a stair step in his hair look at my eyes they're too close together but you know that's that's the way we roll we just don't overthink it Going to give ourselves a pat on the back just for showing up. This gets very dark back here. So all I'm doing right now is just going in and look at, he's got these great little crow's feet from probably being in the sun all the time. And I think that's going to do it for today. So there is our step-by-step uh, -step drawing of Van Gogh. Great thing is you could always re-watch this and pause it and uh, keep up with it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and learned something new about Van Gogh. Really thank you all for being here. Join our Facebook group. But even step it up and join the daily draw. I'll put a link for the daily draw in the description. That's where you're going to really see your art skills go to the moon, right? All right. Go to the starry night. <laughs> hey, we'll see you all later. Have a great afternoon. And I will see you guys later. Tune back here every Monday at 3 every Monday at 2 o'clock and every Wednesday at 2 o'clock. You can catch me live right here uh, on my YouTube channel doing a live draw. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.